Hey guys, in this video we'll look into the view component of React Native. We'll see how we can style the view component and also position the view component and also compose multiple view components inside the view. Here we have a simple app with the view component and I've set the background color to tomato just to keep things interesting. And you can see the view is occupying the entire screen. That's because I've given a flex property for the view and it's set to one which tells the view to occupy the available entire available space and in this case the whole screen. We'll discuss more about the flex property as we move along. But for now let's just get started with the view. So I've added the view component and I refresh. I don't see the view. That's because we have not added any dimensions to the view yet and let's start providing the dimension by passing width equal to 100 and height equal to 100 we still don't see the view that's because this view element doesn't have any child or a background color so for our case Let's give background color to make it visible. So now we can see our view and it's positioned in the top left corner. And that's the default position of any view. And there are two properties which decides the position of the view and that is justify content as well as align items and by default justify content will have flex start and align items will also have by default flex start now if I refresh the view we don't see any change so now I want to move this view position it in the center of the screen to do that all I have to do is change the value of justify content to center as well as align items to center cool so that's that's it that gets our view onto the center of the screen now let's let's reset the position of the view by providing flex start to both of the properties and now let's see how we can position the view in x direction so if you want to move the view in x direction we have to change the property of align items so by providing center the view will move to the center in x axis and similarly by providing fix end the view will move to the right of the screen right corner of the screen so now if you want to move the view in y direction then we have to change the value we are passing to justify content and let's put it to center and that moves our view in y direction so now you would have got with the combination of of values we pass to this we can move the view in any direction and position we want so apart from these two there's one more property which decides of the view elements will be arranged and that is flex direction and by default flex direction will have column as its value and that's why we don't see any change now if I change the value from column to row You see the view switch from this position to here that's because 
in the column the views are arranged one below the other and in in flex direction row views are arranged one next to each other uh, in an if i want to put it in another way in flex direction column the elements are placed in y direction and in flex direction row elements are placed in x direction so to uh, understand it better let's add one more view and place it to the center for the ease of understanding so now you can see our flex direction is column and the views are arranged one below other and or in the y direction so if i add one more view element it will come in below here so to show you I just change the color right so if i change the flex direction to row you should see the elements are arranged in x direction right and apart from these values you can pass others as well to the justify content to just to show you i'll pass a wrong value to justify content and it will show you what are the available values which we can pass that is flex start flex end which we have seen already and center and other than that there is space between and space around so what space around does is it places the view in such a way that it gives a gap equal gap between each view and the space between can be explained easily for two views space between will fill the gap with the space between two views and same can be done for column as well right now let's look into composing multiple views and see how styling affects child and parent elements Let's create a view. And add a style here. So to make it visible basically make it green so now if we don't see any change the view is there but the child element is occupying the entire available space of the view because this view doesn't have any explicit its own dimension and whatever the dimension the child has is what will be the dimension of the parent as well so to make it visible let's add some padding and this padding will affect the child and that increase the size of the parent view now add the padding so similarly we'll also add padding to the upper view that gets that makes uh, the background color visible now let's get rid of these two we don't need it let's get now let's change the flex direction of this view to row 
and similarly we'll have a flex direction to row here as well so you don't see any change that's expected now let's add a few elements and let's give a spacing between the elements by providing margin horizontal great similarly we'll do for this as well and maybe I just want to decrease the size of the elements width to maybe 50 because I want to apply some styles and it won't reflect otherwise the change will not be so evident cool so now I want all the elements to be aligned in the right side. So all I have to do is justify content flex end right and this one already has a default value of justified content flex start that's why all the elements are arranged from the starting of its parent view now let's create one more container and position all the elements in the center so basically this will also help you to re recollect all what we have done till now let's change the green to red maybe and I want to show you one more property flex wrap it's a magical I feel property fail because of this reason. Let's before adding, let's just see what happens without flex wrap. Want background color salmon. Cool. and we see five elements now let's add one more let's see what happens so we see this view is going out of the screen and so to get that view back into the screen we have flex wrap that will tell the view to arrange the child elements in such a way that if it goes out of the screen wrap them goes to the bottom uh, the view is actually coming here but there is no uh, vertical margin that's why you see both of these view elements attached but I can just change it by yeah so that's it guys for this video i hope you enjoyed it and have a good understanding of justify content align items and flex direction how to position the view and arrange them the flex will help in creating views in different ways and it should serve most of the requirements 
but if you still want to um, position the view in different ways then you can use absolute positioning by specifying top left right and bottom values and subscribe for more and feel free to give comments i'll try to improve the future videos by that thank you